Grants Pass, a sleepy town in Oregon. Now, it didn't seem like a hub of high-tech innovation, so I had no idea what to expect. Oh, my word. That has to be it. This wacky racer is the Human Car Imagine PS Hybrid, and it runs both on manpower and batteries. It's the life's work of Charles Greenwood, who dreamed of creating an eco-friendly car that was good for the environment and for your health. Would you like to give it a try? I'd love to, so to make it go, we have to row. Row, it's, it's like using a full body move. And I could do with a workout. <laughs> OK, well, this would be perfect timing. The battery in the human car can be charged by mains power or through a rowing action that generates electricity. Straight away, I got the idea this wasn't going to be a high octane day. So, see, it's really amplifying your power, so we don't want to go too fast on it. I, I class myself as being fairly strong, but I was thinking this is going to be quite hard work. We're not going to go that far. And the lack of a steering wheel didn't help much either. So we just need to lean yeah. all the way over. To turn corners, you both have to kind of move the uh, T-bar left or right. That's actually quite hard work. And it turns out that this was one workout which was much more expensive than joining the gym. We're riding in a quarter of a million dollars here, so... Wow! That is one heck of a project. Yeah, most people would rather buy a uh, Maserati, I think, for their quarter million. I have to admit, at this point, I'd probably have gone for the Maserati too. But then things did start to pick up a bit. We're actually going at fairly decent speed, enough to get quite, quite a lot of wind through the hair. That's always a great feeling. And it certainly got more attention than a luxury sports car. <laughs> that looks like fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a lot of people standing on street corners and shouting across roads going, what is that? It was actually quite funny pushing along going, it's a human car. The human car can reach speeds of around 40 miles per hour. Extra manpower increases the battery voltage and speed. And because I like to go fast, I thought it was time for some more muscle. Guys, excuse hey. me, excuse me. I hope you don't mind, but have you got maybe 10 minutes to spare to get in the back and give us a little bit more power? We found two fairly buff guys just jogging on the side of the street and they were, thankfully, just wanted to jump in the car. We're loaded, Charles. OK, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's go. Whoa, we got too much power. Oh, no, so you <laughs> feel the difference? I can absolutely feel absolutely the difference. Absolutely feel the difference. This is amazing when you've got four people generating the power. As soon as the power monkeys were in the back, the movement became so much more fluid and organic. See, I've heard of horse power, Charles, but man power, man I don't power. quite think Woman you can this. And then I don't know if it was the macho men or the fresh air, but I started to really enjoy the human car. <laughs> <laughs> We'd shown what the car can do, but we hadn't actually got it up to speed. So that's when we decided to go and take it out on the open road. I like the way you move. This is quick. You can definitely feel the wind through your hair in this ride. The battery powers two electric motors. So if you want to pick up the pace, you can switch on an electrical assist mode that will boost your speed. We were doing about 45 miles per hour. And I can tell you, having nothing around you, you're very open to the elements and you feel the speed. It actually feels quicker than 45 miles per hour in a car that feels like nothing because you're completely enclosed. We are literally doing the speed limit on a suburban road in a human car. That's pretty good going. And to be quite honest, I was surprised at how quick that thing went. It was quite fun and quite exhilarating. It might not be adrenaline fueled, but generating your own eco-friendly power certainly gets your blood pumping, and it was pretty nippy. But would I have one? Probably not. Even though I really enjoyed it, I don't even know if I would use one because it is hard work. I don't think it's one for the masses. The way you move. What's really exciting about this thing is it's completely wireless and it's covered in ports. We're looking at the bigger picture. The latest home cinema projectors go head to head. And great gadgets.